Welcome to the David Bradley Show with your host, David Bradley. What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's having a good month of March, even though this weather is seems to be a little wet and a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I don't know. Our next guest may be used to this kind of weather because he is from the great land of Canada and, uh, we're going to sit and have a talk with Ellis Shul. Is that right? Shul? Yeah. Yeah. Shul. Shul. Yes. I, I was close. It was, it was, uh, it's uh, better than honestly, a lot of people <laughs> will say like something like school or like, you know, just Shul. Uh, yeah. yeah. Crazy stuff. Like Shul, that. Shul. Yeah. I don't Shul's. know. It's crazy. Yeah. 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 That's okay. Yeah. I had uh Kenzie Coppin. Did I say that right this time? Coppin? Coppin. And I was calling her Copin. I just, I don't know. <laughs> well, I have a hard time really. with names, man. I really do. Oh, uh, yeah. Well. It, it's crazy. You got a good name. Yeah. <laughs> David Bradley. Yeah, after a farm tractor. <laughs> Used to be a company a long time ago called David Bradley Farm Tractors. Okay. It's crazy. I mean, you go to my YouTube and and just type my name in YouTube It'll pull me up, but it'll also pull up the David Bradley tractors too. <laughs> it's yeah. wild. Well, yeah. Um It's the way it is. It is the way it is. Yeah. So when did you get in town? Um I got in town on uh f- last Thursday. I came down. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I've been here for about uh you know, four or five days now. Did you and, do anything uh, for a CRS week or I think I came in a little bit after CRS week. I think he was right at the tail end of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I met some people that, that were doing some stuff, some like a concert kind of thing. Um, but yeah, no, I, I came uh, I came a little bit after it. What, what you, I, I'm not even sure what it is. What What is CRS? It's a country radio seminar is what it's called. Okay. Uh, they just call it CRS for short, and it's where all the – country radio big wigs come into Nashville and they're looking for new talent and they're, you know, having meetings and. Do they do it at the convention center? Is that- I, yeah, I don't even know where they did it to be honest with you. I don't know. <laughs> Only thing I know that I did, I hosted, uh, two shows at the underground. Mm. So nice. Oh, well you might've met, uh, <clears throat> Kirby. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Kirby's my girl now. Yeah, yeah, she's super sick. Yeah, she's funny as all get out. Yeah, yeah, we did a we did a, a show together yesterday. Um, say I didn't even know that. Say I would have came. <laughs> next time, next yeah, time. Yeah, ne- next time. Yeah, yeah, Y'all do it again. Know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll do it. No, she's super sweet. Yeah, Kirby is really sweet. She's got a hell of a vocal range. <laughs> yeah, like. Yesterday was the, the first time that I was hearing her live. Mm-hmm. And like I came in, I like she she had started her, her set and I sort of showed up like, you know, midway through the first song kind of a thing. And uh, like I went, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> she's it's, phenomenal. It's, live is insane. She Absolutely is phenomenal. Incredible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real. She's, uh, she's good. She's very good. And uh, I'd really love to see her make it to the top. Yeah as just i don't know she's sweet she's nice she's you know everything that you would hope that a country artist would be you know real personable mm-hmm. loves her fans you know yeah, and a lot of people are Very getting caring, back to that like super yeah. sweet yeah 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 definitely um see yeah you can learn from things like that of course yeah well spending time with her has been I mean, it's been, it's been great. She's, I mean, she's from, she's from Alabama, right? Right. She's, uh, she, she, uh, and I mean, I'm, I'm sort of new, I guess, to, to Nashville in a sense. And, uh, you know, so I've been, I've just been sort of asking her how, how it goes about around here and stuff like that. Well, I mean, that's one of the questions I had, I actually have for you because you've been doing a lot of stuff up in Canada. Yeah. And you're trained on piano, guitar. Yeah. What else do you play? Is that it? Or, uh, I mean, yeah. can you go I ahead mean, and play played, the whole band or what? You know, uh, I mean, when I was younger, back in high school, I played the tuba. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, which was super fun. Uh, just uh, I, I'm trying to work a tuba into a country song here. So <laughs> I mean, <laughs> uh, maybe somehow, maybe somehow. Well, I don't know. Metall- stuff, yeah. Metallica played with a full band, and you know, yeah, that's it. A bunch of other ones. Yeah, like uh, yeah, you can definitely, you can definitely like. Anything's possible. Man. Oh yeah, anything's possible. Yeah. You just got to put your mind to it. That's it. No, that's it. But yeah, so I play. I mean, I play. Yeah, I play. Um, I've been playing guitar since I was like ten years old, kind of a thing. Yeah, it's been about almost you know, probably fourteen, fifteen years now. And um, I can't play worth crap. <laughs> do you? Ha- do, but do you have you like played? Do you play? I tried. Okay. I had uh, one of the. Uh, Let's see, on the Baptist side, Southern Baptist side, it would be, was that a deacon? Is that a deacon? Yeah, I think it's a deacon. Yeah, it's a, a deacon, not okay. the pastor, but a deacon that helps run the church and everything. Uh, he was part of the band down there, and he sat down and tried to teach me some, and I learned a couple of notes and stuff but i just i can't get this hand to understand that this hand is in play also right so i get off you know i can't right 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 i mean i yeah i i don't know man it's 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 a talent (laughs) it's uh yeah it's definitely it's a lot i mean it's just practice It's, it's it's crazy how much like you just have to like you know at first at first it's it's definitely like tough i mean i remember when i was starting out that kind of a thing like you know i i liked it i definitely liked it but i think there was some times where you know you just you get probably just like annoyed and yeah you know you don't want to practice kind of a thing yeah it's just like yeah man it's a grind it's a grind piano came a little bit easier though yeah i mean i've i've heard piano is one of the best ones to learn yeah it, it just like I don't know, like, cause for songwriting too, right? Like it's, well, the guitar and the piano, like it's too, it's, it's, it's what, what it draws out from like a sort of an emotional standpoint, I find like mm-hmm. is often like some, like it's, it's two different things. Yeah. So like, yeah, like depending on the vibe, like, you know, guitar is more of like a rhythm to it in a sense, right? Like, you know, you can really groove it out. Like, and uh, so when you're when you're trying to do like more of like yeah that kind of a song has got like some tempo some rhythm to it like guitar is definitely good for that but um, you know like piano is something where it just like it, it, it like hits like these like emotional chords and you, you know, mm-hmm. it's like um, yeah you can sit down and you know just be playing like it's nothing nothing too crazy and it's just like you just feel this thing like come you know it starts to connect and resonate within you and like then comes yeah. to life. Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's like you're, it's it's crazy. Like you know, the instrument becomes sort of like your you know your writing partner. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. Yeah. Uh, it's, only thing I could play on piano was that uh, what's it called? Da 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 da. It's called something. I forget what it's called. That's all I could play. My grandmother taught me that. Oh, nice. But she played by ear. She played by ear. Yeah. Wow. That's that's impressive. Yeah, I mean, she could play anything as long as she heard it first. She could play it. Wow, wow, wow! wow. So it was like in family stuff, did she like sort of sit down? Yeah, and the... no. Oh, okay. She was just like, yeah, I was sitting there at the piano tinkering on it, and she's like, "I'll show you this," you know. And she showed me, and then she showed me a different way to play it, where you roll your knuckles over the keys and do it, and right. Yeah, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. It was weird. But then I picked up a bass guitar and I could play bass a little bit. I could follow some of the songs, but okay. then I got it in my head that I wanted to learn um, Iron Maiden "Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner," which okay. is one of the toughest bass lines ever to play. And you, were, you wanted that? You wanted I that. no, I wanted to do it, but I got so discouraged with it because I played by ear. I I I can't write music. I can't write none of it. I don't know nothing about it. You know, probably if I studied it, I might be able to, but it's just something I never could get into. Oh, man, I mean, hey, it is what it is. But yeah. did you have some, did you, who, who did you like to listen to? Oh, back then, man, it was all, if it wasn't Waylon or Willie or, you know, the old time country artist. 
Yeah. If it wasn't them, then I was jamming out to uh, Iron Maiden, of course, Judas Priest. You know, it was all the heavy metals. You know, I loved it. You know, and, uh, well, I mean, there was nights we did nothing but Hank Williams Jr. Yeah. Because we was out in the field mud, (laughs) you know, and just out there living it, you know. Yeah. Because you, I mean, you you were saying you you grew up in Nashville kind of a thing. Yeah. Yeah. And. uh, Yeah, we we all grew up, all my friends, we all grew up in Nashville. But uh, we were all the time out in the woods somewhere other than Nashville, you know. (laughs) Like in the mountains kind of? Like I know. No, it's a, well, around here there's not really a whole lot of mountains, but there's plenty of four-wheel drive trails and and all kinds of stuff. We'd run out in the woods. We'd build a a bonfire and just hang out and party. Sounds awesome, dude. Yeah, well, I mean, there's been many a song wrote about that, so. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Oh, so that's just the way it is. But uh Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering if you was feeling any like uh shell shock from the music stuff in Canada versus what's down here in Nashville. Cause I think you wrote with uh Cody Lee this week. I did, I did. Uh yeah, Co- Corey, Corey. Corey, Corey yeah, Lee. Corey Bo- yeah. yeah, yeah. Um yeah, we wrote uh we wrote a couple songs together. Um yeah, he's a great writer. I mean like he's got an insane like sense for for melody and mm-hmm. that kind of a thing, uh, and uh, yeah, like for for vibe and groove and like a, a good way of like being able to when like an artist comes and like you know just says like this is sort of what I want to do kind yeah. of thing like he's really able to adapt to that and it's really awesome, um, yeah, uh, and um, yeah, sorry, it's like I think it's, it's Corey Lee Barker, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's something, yeah. So it's uh yeah um I'm bad with names that's why I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah um but uh, yeah man no we wrote together it was great uh, I mean and um we uh yeah we got two good songs out of it like and that's the thing right is like he's from he's from Tennessee mm-hmm. and I mean you know it's his influences right so it's yeah. like yeah like that's the kind of thing that you know comes out so even when he sings you know he's got yeah he's got like the uh, he reminded me of uh, sort of Chris Stapleton a little bit, like when he was doing, when he was when he was singing. Yeah, um, and um, yeah, so, it amazes me because some of these songwriters, some of them can't sing at all, but yeah. write amazing music. Right, and some of them actually have a really good voice, and you're like, well, why aren't you performing too? You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, he might have said that he used to kind of a thing, but uh, I don't know if he. Yeah, I think it had been a while since he had. Yeah. Um, but um was there a big difference between, you know, writing with him, this Tennessee guy, other than writing with someone in Canada or did you write all those earlier songs by yourself? Um the earlier songs I I they were all they were co-writes. So, um some of them were done with some producers that are actually down here. Uh and um but their guys from from New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there was, I would say a different, yeah, the styles weren't exactly the same. Um, well, some people have like, uh, each songwriter that I've met and talked to, they've all got their own little groove at how yeah. they come up with the song. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, some of them, it'll just pop in their head one day. Yeah. And and some of them, when they sit down to actually write a song, they'll start with a memory of something or, or, you know, they'll do it a certain way that they build everything around a certain thing, you know? Mm-hmm. And like, I, like there's, I, there's a cool thing about like using sort of the idea of like senses, mm-hmm. like, you know, like we're calling like smells, yeah. and, like, touch and like, well, there are some smells I don't want to recall. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up in Nashville, dude. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, yeah, I mean, those maybe, you know. Yeah. They could, maybe they have their place in some song. I don't know. Who knows? But, uh, <laughs> like, it's just, yeah. Um, but yeah, man. Um, yeah, so there's, you know, there's that kind of a way of doing it. 
And you know, you're 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 really right. Sometimes it's just something that like pops into your head. You, know? mm. you just don't even know. Like it's it's just like I think Paul McCartney talks about that sometimes. Yeah. Like, uh, a song like Let It Be, right? Like, mm -hmm. It was just like he uh he like dreamt I think I guess it was his mom. He dreamt of his mom like telling him like everything's gonna be okay. Something yeah. Like that. And it's just like he woke up and it's like, oh shit. Like, just let it be, man. Yeah. <laughs> let it be. <laughs> yeah. Um Well, I mean, we've uh, several of us have talked about, you know, how people would be like in a restaurant or something and they grab a napkin and they start writing the lyrics down on the napkin. And yeah. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. You never know when it's going to hit. It's, yeah. You know, I've been on the bus and line comes into your head. Mm -hmm. you know, Got to pull out your, your phone. Yeah. Write it in the notes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First, first line. Why am I not in first class on a plane? <laughs> yeah. That give me a good one. Like, Why am I on good... the stupid bus? Yeah. Oh my nah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, man. Hey, that's it. Like, and that's the thing, right? With like songwriters and songs, it's like anything can be the start of a song. Yeah. It's like, you know, it's just, yeah, like being able to, you know, have a subject, associate things to a subject. And I mean, I before I ever, before I ever wrote songs, I wrote like a lot of poetry. Um, you can turn a lot of them into songs. Yeah, that's it. That's that's how it started, man. It was yeah. like, you know, I would write these poems and I would like sort of tell my mom or read them to my mom, and like she would be like, you know, like you know, you, you should turn them into songs. Yeah. <laughs> I think for a while maybe I just like didn't I didn't do it, but like um, yeah, one day it just happened. It was yeah. Like you know, I pulled out the guitar and I went, you know, I, I just you just sort of figure it out, I guess. Like I'll yeah. make this progression kind of a thing, and then you know, write these words and just just happened yeah and it was um it was cool but uh yeah so yeah like but there's it's definitely different writing poetry than it is from writing songs it's yeah because my my poetry is very simple roses are red violets are blue <laughs> get away from me i hate you <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a that's a that's a beautiful man <laughs> that was after a breakup which i've had many of so uh, okay okay yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Julie scared me. She grabbed the board. <laughs> Bre breakups, uh, hey, breakups are the best are the best fuel for uh, for writing. Well, yeah, probably. Yeah. Well, yeah. I've I, I don't, I've just written a lot of that kind of stuff. So from breakups. Yeah, right. Yeah, I think you know relationships that don't work out. It's. Um, it's a good way. I don't know. Don't, I'm not turning in a, this to a, a relationship show because I'm sure we could sit here and talk about that all night. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. But yeah, so it's kind of, <clears throat> yeah. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing, Caitlin? I'm reading what she's saying. Oh, God. <laughs> Julie has a whiteboard and it is the best thing ever. <laughs> Keep your day job, no poetry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let, let me explain that a little bit, y'all, because I ask questions all the time, and Julie's not one. She doesn't really like to be on the microphone, and uh, that's why Caitlin's got the microphone. But Julie decided she wanted to get a whiteboard so she could write on the whiteboard, and I could look up and read it. So <laughs> she just had to break it in, didn't you? Yeah. Just had to break it in. <laughs> See what I deal with around here, man. I swear. Uh, it helps with yeah, some tension. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> It'd be better if she didn't write in cursive. She writes in cursive. I can't read it hardly. You know how us country boys are. Uh-huh, shut up. If I shut up, then the podcast stops. Oh, God. See, that's all you need, a team of wild, crazy people around you. Uh, it makes it fun, man. Yeah, it does. Mm -hmm. It really does. Yeah, yeah. I got a good team. They seem, yeah. We, we all just met, but yeah. everybody seems really, yeah, everybody seems really <laughs> good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We all just meet once upon a time. An old land not so far away. 
So where at in Canada are you from exactly? Uh, I'm from Montreal. Montreal. Okay. Because when I drove truck, I used to go across the border up there in Michigan, and we went straight up. And I can't remember what highway, and I can't even. There were so many towns we went through, man, that were uh, just gorgeous. Yeah. And it wasn't the main towns. It was the little side towns. Along the highway kind of thing. Yeah, well, I, there was one we went to. Uh, it was a water heater place that sent us up there. And the factory was just a little bit north like two or three blocks away from this main hub of the town. Okay. And I can't remember the name of the town, uh, but okay. I've told, I've talked about it several times on the podcast, but oh, yeah. it was where you had to go around the town. It was, a, it was a truck route only. And you could see down into the square and the blacktop ended and it went to old cobblestones and all the buildings and everything was made out of that castle brick type yeah, stuff. Yeah, right, right. And the only thing you could see down this one whole lane going into the square, which the square had this beautiful water fountain in the middle of it. Mm. And the only thing you could see was pubs. Okay. All the way down this one street and stores. Yeah. You know, and well, I was just like wow you know and i've always wanted to go back to that little town but i can't even remember the damn name of it well if if you know if you get the chance to come to montreal we, we sort of have some of that stuff there yeah like uh see that would be cool to me to just go experience it because you know i've talked about you know like denmark and several other places i've always wanted to go but it wasn't for you know the bars or the pubs it was for the architecture oh dude you like, know yeah like <laughs> architecture it's funny that you bring up architecture. I've been, I've been like noticing architecture more yeah. recently. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's beautiful to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, what amazes me the most is that they were to create such intricate detail mm -hmm. way back then yeah. when you know it was just one guy, a chisel, and a hammer. That was it. Yeah, right? You know, yeah, was, and he carved yeah. this, and they put it in a building, and it's just it's just beautiful how they dreamt up yeah. all these buildings, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, And they're know, still like, standing. Yeah, like the, you know, like Roman times kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah, a lot of beautiful good. Roman stuff still up. Yeah. Well, I mean, the Colosseum, I mean, it's took its damage, you know, and its toll and everything, but the damn Colosseum's still up. Yeah, it's like. 2000 something yeah yeah like, you probably throw a concert in there and everybody'd be happy i don't know that could be pretty yeah that'd be cool that'd be cool they well didn't the didn't the rolling stones do something like uh it was i don't think it was a coliseum but it was like uh the circus maximus or something like that. it was something out there i can't remember yeah they, i think they might have done i know there's a there's a place that i've seen on youtube and um uh, Oh, it was like uh, two cellos played there. Okay. And it was like there was a stage and there was, you know, seating for everybody. But that was set on like the main area of some little temple or something like that. You could see the stone seats around and you could see some beautiful architecture in the background. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, like, sometimes, like, there's these, well, because, I mean, they did, you know, obviously they did, they did like, plays and stuff back in the day. Yeah. So it was, like, I guess they were they were doing these, audit, like, auditorium kind of stuff. Yeah. And, like, hey, sounds good, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> so it, it sounds good and it looks good. Concert there, like, uh, <laughs> I'd love to see Macbeth and, and a bunch of the Shakespearean plays. Yeah. I've talked about that before. Yeah. I'm Actually, I went to uh, at the London Roundhouse, uh, in uh, in in England. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, I saw Macbeth back in the day there. Oh, awesome! Yeah, it's pretty cool. Say, I'm so jealous now. <laughs> it was really hot. Oh, I God. can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was yeah, it was cool. Um, That's was weird. I mean, I'm just I'm a redneck with a little bit of refinement. Is that what it's called? Is it? <laughs> 
I say refinement, and y'all both start laughing your ass off. What the hell? Uh, uh, See? Yeah. yeah. Talk about me. Is there what happens? Fun. See? Yeah. yeah. That's the way it goes. Uh, How many songs you got out right now? I know I've listened to three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've got, I mean, I got like a, a an eight song sort of EP album kind of thing. Right. Uh, it's called uh, On the Verge of Something Beautiful. Um, yeah, that one song I really liked. I can't remember the name of it. It was something beautiful. Was it was a beautiful mistake? Beautiful mistake. That's it. Ah, cheers. Yeah, I like that. Thanks, man. Yeah, no, that's a good one. Uh, yeah, yeah, that one was written well with uh, a guy named Johnny Black. Um, he's 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 in Nashville now. Yeah, um, but like I think originally from New York. Um, yeah, man. I mean that one. I don't know. We just, we just, it just really started like, well, he, he sort of had the chorus and then like, um, I was, he sat down on the piano. I was standing next to him, started playing some chords and like, I just started to sing like the, the, the first line, which is like, like every time that I am with you, I know you can see through the walls hide behind. Yeah. And like, it, it sort of like, it just, you know, we started off like that and just kind of came together. It, yeah. It flowed pretty well. It, it came out pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Man. Yeah. So I'm glad, I'm glad you like it. Yeah. I like that one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And so I got that one and I got like, uh, and it was like, you know, we put out another single after that, um, called, uh, Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Julie's saying natural disaster is her favorite. Thank you. Yeah, that was the first one I ever no, put you're out. Fu- you're funny over there with that board now. She's just like <laughs> rocking the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. I'm, gl- I'm glad I didn't get a teleprompter because we had talked about that. <laughs> and she'd be flashing <laughs> up stuff all the time with on teleprompter. <laughs> what? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Oh, God. Caitlin, you going to help me out on that? No, nope, she's in it. I just have the microphone. I know. No cameras, no mm-hmm. teleprompter. I'm going to turn a camera on your ass one day. You wait. No, it's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> you can put one on me, but I control the buttons. Yeah, I know. I'd have to loop in something somewhere. It'd be crazy. Oh, Lord. So are you moving to Nashville or are you going to um, do the... Uh, yeah, I'm still doing like the back and forth thing for the moment. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind moving here. Uh, yeah, I think it's a great city. For being honest, I, I really, I really do enjoy uh, Nashville. Um, y'all got, I mean, some of the best food out there. Honestly, <laughs> like, I mean, I'm actually gonna probably have some hot chicken tonight, kind of thing. You know, like, oh god, I can't do hot chicken. Yeah, no, tears me up. I'm old. <laughs> Oh man, no. I well, it depends how spicy it is, right? Like, well, I mean, you know, I used to drink mezcal and a bunch of other crap, so I'm uh, like, yeah, okay. I got to be careful now. Okay, I see, I see. Mezcal's good though. Like, yeah. yeah, it's That's good chicken. Over, yeah. Everybody tells me it's good chicken, but I just, I can't. I know they got some stuff over in Memphis that'll melt your face. <laughs> do you do you like spicy food? Like maybe a, no. A I've never been a big fan of spicy food. Mm. You can't even do the spicy ranch. No, I can't. And that's not spicy at all. No, I can't. (laughs) Yeah, Taco Bell, they put the, it's supposed to be like a spicy sauce and it's not even really that spicy. And I just can't do it. It tears me up all night long. (laughs) Sucks getting old. uh, Yeah. Uh, so while you're young, eat the spicy food and have fun and and do all that stuff. (laughs) Yeah. You're going to hit an age one day where you're going to be like, mm-hmm, I smell it from here. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. I, I should. I, I mean, I should take advantage of it. I, I love spicy food. So it's like, got to have the most of it right now. Yeah. Well, you should have been here at the Christmas party. We had Julie cooked full Christmas meals both times. Nice. Awesome. Um, yeah. you, you like to cook, Julie? You, you like to cook? Nice. What did you guys make? I don't know, whatever she made. <laughs> it's 
she made so she made the turkey the dressing the the whole nine yards wow wow that's a that's a project right there yeah i know that's where all the artists quit liking me and started loving her <laughs> um, <laughs> two weeks in a row yeah oh I've had five of them say, when's Miss Julie going to cook again? We'll come up when she cooks. I'm just like, man, y'all killing me. Do you, uh, what, well, I mean, what, what do you, what do you like to cook? What, what is like your go-to kind of thing? Anything. Anything? Anything. Yeah. All right. Do you make like, what about like mac and cheese? Yeah. Mm. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put the little hot dogs in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's all she wants. Mm. My granddaughter. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's all she wants, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. That's what goes. Go to. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I like it every now and then, but I can't eat it all done. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's, pretty. it's good like after. It's a good night out kind of. Mm, yeah. yeah. Finish the night with some mac and cheese. Uh, good enough to knock me out. So <laughs> I'll sit over and I'll eat and I'll sit over there and watch TV and I'm just gone. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin laughs because she went and ran 6.1 miles today. Dang. Yeah. And other weightlifting stuff. Yeah. And a rower. I'm ready to go home and pass out. <laughs> <laughs> That's impressive. Well, she's working her way. She's doing the producing stuff, but she's also working her way up to be security also. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just so she can whoop somebody's <laughs> butt. That's all. I mean, I probably can already do that. <laughs> mm, probably. <laughs> you need security? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Dang. Buddy. Yeah, that, that's good on you. Good on you. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, what kind of pub do you have? You played in bars and stuff out there in Canada. What What's the difference? Why they call it a pub? I already know, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that don't know the difference between a pub in Canada and a bar down here. It's the difference, oh man. Um, I guess. Well. That's a good question, actually. We got different. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You get. You're gonna have. To, I don't know. What, what is the difference between a pub and a bar? Well, the way it was explained to me, a pub in like Canada or England or you know the UK, all those are different areas. Pubs are more centrally located, mm. and you get more of a repeat customer, and it turns more into a family environment. Yeah. Whereas the bars and stuff, you'll have your your steady clientele, but you'll also have a lot of the out of towners and okay. and everything else. Okay, this is more like a family setting. This is more like a you're just yeah, like there to drink. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that's why there's more fights in a bar in the bars than there is a pub. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, pubs and pubs in the UK kind of stuff. Like, yeah. Yeah. They do some good fish and chips and that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They do it all. Yeah. Yeah. Some bars in Nashville, I wouldn't want to eat at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm scared, though. The, what's that guy's name? Bar Rescue Dude? I can't remember his name. Is it like where they spend like 72 hours at like a bar? Yeah, they go in and revamp the bar and do all that stuff. And he's in there throwing food at them and... You know, mice in the food and all kinds oh. of stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know if it's this one, but uh, like the Gordon Ramsay kind of thing. Like, where he yeah. Does, like, well, it's not. And... It's not Ramsay. Ramsay does the kitchen nightmares, but this guy goes in and actually, if you've got a failing bar, he'll come in and help you and uh, redo it and rebrand it and do all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. I can't remember. Those are those name. are good. Those are good kinds of TV shows. Yeah. Robert Irvine. Robert Irvine? Irvine? I don't know. I, I don't know how he pronounces it. Restaurant Impossible? Yes. Okay. I thought it was Bar Rescue. You got Restaurant Impossible. 
That's who she pulled up. That was a different date. I don't know. That's the only one I've ever watched. <laughs> oh, I, like Ellis is like, this is the weirdest podcast I've ever been on. <laughs> I, I love it. No, I was going to say, like, um, whenever it's like. Who? John Tafer. Yeah, Tafer, Tafer, whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, him. He's a big old guy, too. He's like six foot four, six foot five. He's a big guy. What kills me is that whenever he does a little Italian bar or something like that, the little Italian guys will argue with him and shit. This guy could pick him up and throw him out the front window, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good, like. Yeah. You know, sort of late night YouTube kind of watching stuff, you know. Yeah, or, you know, uh, um, Food Network or something, maybe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know where it's on. I've seen it so many times. Yeah. But I, I've gotten where I don't I do not do cable networks or anything anymore. I just, I stream everything. Stream everything. Yeah. yeah I, I, just, I feel you. I don't even, I don't have, I don't have cable. Yeah, I don't see how some TV networks are still on. I don't know, man. Sports I, is big, but so yep. that kind of stuff. Like, it's uh, isn't it? It's gonna be March Madness soon. So. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've just been seeing that sort of. Like, uh, there was a big. There was like, um, women's basketball was on today. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a really cool um, player this year. Uh, what's her name? Caitlin Clark, I think. Mm, I don't know. Uh, she just broke like the scoring record. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Like most most points all time or something like that. And Hell, kudos like that. to her. Yeah. Yeah, for real. It's it's pretty impressive. Yeah. So, and they just won like uh, her conference. Her conference championship, something like that. Iowa, I think is what she played. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Hell, I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't watch sports. I just, I don't know. Mm. It's like I, football. I do. I, yo, oh my God. She looked like, that's crazy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I used to play flag football um, back in the day. I mean, I played, like, in high school, I played, like, contact football. But um, after that, uh, my friends and I, we had a team, and we played, uh, we played flag football. Yeah. 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 We, I think we, we even won the championship one year, actually. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a shout-out to those guys. Wow, that's crazy. Um, the memories we bring back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man. See, we we played football on the weekends, but it was a bunch of damn rednecks that thought we were tougher than anything else. And we would meet out at Shelby Park, it was one of the big parks downtown Nashville. And uh, we'd all meet up out there. Somebody bring a football, and we just start playing football. No pads, no nothing. Oh. Full contact. Ah, yeah. mm. uh, like real. Uh, yeah, real hitting and yeah, everything. Hit there. Yeah. Oh my god. See, that's the football I want to see. Take away all the pads, the helmets, and everything else. Yeah. And throw just, a bunch of rednecks out there in the middle of a field. That's what I want to see. <laughs> I want to see that. That'd be good. Go to Indiana. Go to Indiana? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I ain't going to Indiana. I'm sorry. I've been there too many times. Yeah, why do you think I got out? Yeah, I can imagine. But, yeah, that's what we did back in the day. If, if Sundays, we were playing football. Saturday and Friday nights, we would wash our cars up, wax them, do all that stuff. We'd run around town, and then at a certain time, we'd all meet up somewhere, and whoever had the four-wheel drive trucks, we were loading up in them and heading out into the woods. Our parents wouldn't see us till Sunday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and usually we'd come in with a busted lip or something, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mom, what's for dinner? <laughs> uh, sometimes, yeah. But that, like for some reason, I don't know. That's just that's some of the funnest stuff to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just yeah. Going out, with some friends, and just well, just playing some, <laughs> playing some good contact football. Well, I told I told Julie earlier. Uh, no, I, I told somebody earlier. My friends got me in more trouble than what I thought. But then after sitting there and thinking about it, my friends got me out of a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> They that's really friend, did. That's what friends do, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, I've got two that are ride and die. I've, I've had them ever since first grade. Mike, yeah. ba- Mike Bowers and Ronnie Mays. They've always been in my court, you know. Nice, dude. And they got me. I got them. Yeah. Yeah. Just like one of them found out that I had some merchandise and stuff, and he's like, dude, I want a shirt. And I'm like, you got it. <laughs> so you got merch? Yeah, I got merch. I got all kinds of stuff. That's what you got to do. Yeah. I, I got to get some merch going. You got to get a website going. That too. That too. That's in That's in the works right now. That's okay. happening. Yeah. 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 I'm already doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and, uh, we, um, yeah, well, I mean, there was this sort of idea at some point for some merch. I want to do like, I mean, I want to do like some, some like hats. Yeah. But I want it to be like, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's sort of an artist. His name is, uh, Tyler, the creator. Um, he's a, a rapper and, uh, he has like his own like sort of fashion company. Mm-hmm. Called, like golf. Le, le Fleur. Yeah. Um, which I think is dope. Like I find like doing, if you're going to do like merch, if you're going to do like some kind of like, uh, yeah, like a fashion piece, you know, if it's like a t-shirt, if it's like a hoodie kind of thing, like it's super cool to do it in the sense of like doing it like an actual, like comp, like designing company, you know, mm-hmm. like actual like fashion thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Like. Uh, like I find that I find that concept of making merch like that is super it's it's really awesome I guess I feel I don't know I mean maybe there's other people that are doing it other than him but like well um Miranda know. Lambert came out with her own clothing line okay uh several others have come out with their own clothing line um yeah. but on the merch side remember it's just a freaking t-shirt man yeah. it's it's a hat yeah you know with your logo on it yeah you know? yeah well, that's it. I mean, yeah, and that's definitely. What, that's what they want. They want the fans love that stuff. Yeah, they do. They do. But yeah. And then you come out with your own clothing line. Yeah. You know, you have your designers and you design it and do all that stuff. Yeah. No, for sure. I feel you. You can do I the bell you. bottoms and <laughs> yeah, know, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Yeah. Well, bell bottom. Hey, shout to bell bottoms. I didn't well, wear them when they were in style. Okay. You know, because you got to remember, I'm 58. I, I've been through a lot of changes and the one things that always come back is just regular old Levi's classic you know the song bell bottom blues yeah there's a bell bottom blues there's yeah. all kinds of stuff yeah I love that it's crazy yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah Caitlin was making faces I don't know what she was making faces at because I look up and you're just staring at me like, what do you want? You're the producer. I'm supposed to look at you every now and then, make sure I'm not doing something wrong. That's what Julie's for. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see how it is. Now I got them both ganging up on me. <laughs> mm. It's just the way it goes. So are you with, um, are you tied in with A Blaze or? Uh, no, I mean, I know, I know Paula. Okay. Um, my man, I mean, my manager is, is Don, Don Bowen, um, who knows Paula. Okay. Uh, but I mean, it's funny. We actually, I met, I met Paula for the first time, like today we had like a Zoom call. Yeah. Um, I spoken on the phone before, but this was like the first time seeing her, you know, sort of on, on a screen, seeing her, um, yeah, I mean, she's uh, she's super dope. Honestly, like you can tell she really, really cares, um, which I think, like in terms of like management, is like the 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 most important thing. Oh yeah, um, a lot of people just look at you as a number. That's it, and it's like a paycheck and a number. Yeah, and I mean, we're you know <laughs> <laughs> not really that I mean, I'm a person here, you know, kind of thing. And it's yeah, just like, exactly. Yeah, like you know. Wanna, you want to feel like the, the, the person that, well, I mean, your manager or somebody who's like so close to you, right? Like, right. You know, and you got to have that relationship too, you know? Yeah. You got to be able to, to, to back each other's play and do what is necessary oh, and, for sure. you know, take care of each other. Cause that's one of the things I preach about on this show a lot. You got to watch out for the sharks. Right. They're the ones that you're just a number. You're just a name and they want money from you every oh. 
freaking time you play a show and do this and do that, and they'll nickel and dime you to death. Yeah. No, yeah, it's you gotta there's be careful. A, there's um, like you say, there's some sharks, man. Oh yeah, you gotta be careful. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah. And it's you know, something that comes with experience too, right? It's, yeah, I've gotten taken more than once. So Yeah. And but my big thing was uh bar owners. Really? I would do a light show or run sound for them or something like that, and then at the end of the night the manager is escaped miraculously oh, yeah. five minutes before the band was you done to go. <laughs> you know and you're like well crap now i gotta come back did he leave me any money you know what what's going on and then i'd have to go back down there and catch him yeah to get my money if i got any at all so that's where yeah i've seen a lot of artists i mean they just they go in do a four-hour show and you know there's no money yeah and it just ticks me off oh man because we all work yeah you work your butt off butt off man a four-hour show i mean i used to do these i used to do shows that were you know sort of three hours long kind of thing mm-hmm. uh, yeah i mean I, I mean i would be playing for two and a half hours and have you know, two 15 minute breaks kind of thing but um it's it's demanding yeah honestly like you're you're you know it's hours and hours of practice oh yeah learning the songs um writing the songs so, yes yeah, so i'm writing the songs it's like because sometimes a song a song will come together real easy and you're done in 15 minutes yeah yeah but other times it may take you two or three days i've been working on i've got songs i'm working on that have been since last summer kind of thing, yeah. the end of last summer you know so. yeah see so i mean these are ongoing projects. Yeah, yeah. That need funding. That need funding, <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. Oh, you know, it's yeah, and you know, transportation. And That's like this podcast. It needs funding. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be honest with you, yeah. I, I, I've I've laughed at some of the other ones and everything else, and and it's it's getting to the point where I'm just like. Y'all buy my merch, help out, do something. I'm fixing to start putting my smiley face on everything I can. Sure. I think that'd and, be good. Yeah, and Venmo me, please. <laughs> I'll shut up if man. you Venmo me. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, anyway. Might as well. I mean, something, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, That's why I'm. I, you know, it's still a mystery to me. People will go to your YouTube channel. Yeah. And they'll watch your video. And you can see the views. Yeah. But then you go up to that subscribe button and it's like nobody wants to hit the subscribe. Yeah. I've been I've so it's funny. I've been doing that more recently. Yeah. Because you know, like it it is an interesting concept how like it takes point five seconds. Yeah. To click to subscribe. just hit subscribe. <laughs> But like you know, it takes like I don't know what it takes for people to do it, but it's like, well, my YouTube channel's got over five thousand views. Yeah, and I got three hundred and ninety-seven subscribers. Right. The math ain't working out here. Right. right. <laughs> I, I just, trust, man. It's, it's sort of. I mean, you know, like, yeah, it's just. It, I I feel like I don't know. I mean, it it helps out the the channel so much yeah and it helps out the artist too and yeah and artists and yeah for sure yeah um it's like yeah it's a you know it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing to do yeah it's just like, subscribe like, like, like please, subscribe, please. <laughs> just a little subscribe that's yeah. all we need or the david bradley um, yeah well you know yeah. Your, your channel needs subscribers too oh cheers how many subscribers you got on YouTube. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to lie. Do we got to look that up for you? <laughs> look it up. Julie's already pecking away at her phone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, mean, I, I mean, I got a couple of music videos and that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, I know. That's where I watched them at. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Which I got to hit subscribe to. I ain't going to lie. I'll do. I'll, I'll, that's, I'll well, do say that I look at stuff on my phone, but my phone's not, I don't have my YouTube signed in on my phone. I just. Okay. And I do all that from the computer. Yeah. So I got to hit subscribe. Subscribe, man. 
I got to hit subscribe. I wonder if that's what's going on. They're just watching it from their phone. They ain't signed in. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe we should all sign into YouTube on our phone. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's it through like my email. Kind of a thing. What are those? What are the? I saw the trophies there. What are? Which ones? So it's sort of on top of. Well, every trophy up there is my dad's. Okay. My dad passed away twenty seven years ago. Okay. Um, I think that's right. My mom will let me know. But the big motorcycle trophy is he won state championship. He was ninth place. And wow. the other motorcycle trophy, he won third place in one of the races. And then the two smaller ones is he won two bow hunting. Wow. Yeah. Your dad, so your dad would hunt? Yeah, hunt, fish, everything else. Cool. 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 Did he you was, ever go with him? Yeah, I went with him a lot. Nice. That's why it's hard for me to go deer hunting today because I'm used to going with my dad. Yeah. Fishing, I can go fishing anytime because I went fishing with all my friends and everything else, you know, so. Yeah. It's just one of those things. <sighs> yeah, man. Yeah. Those, those, th- those, it's, you know, those are cherished things. Mm-hmm. Being with my parents. It's, yeah. 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 It's definitely. just the way it goes. I mean, that's the way it is. <laughs> I feel you. Um, hmm. But so you fish. What kind of fishing do you do? Anything at a hit on a hook. Yeah. And that's the truth. I don't go out there for a specific fish. Okay. I just go out there to fish. It seems cool. I've never been fishing. If I don't catch nothing all day long, that doesn't bother me. Okay. Just being out there. Because I was out there. I was relaxing. I was having some fun. Getting a little bit of a tan, you know, and just casting. Cranking it in. If it hits, it hits. It don't, it don't. Yeah. If they're biting. Well, it's, there's a, there's a, a deep philosophy behind fishing that I think goes through life. Because every day you've got to cast out there, you got to put your effort in, you got to do this and you got to do that. And something good hits back, you fight it all the way to the boat. Uh, that's true, dude. And then you got that's some beautiful. fish. Yeah, it's a, it's a good uh, like sort of metaphor or analogy or whatever. You could say. Yeah, I couldn't think of the word, so I just called it life. So, <laughs> well, I, I, no, I, that's a, that's probably a, that's a better way of putting it. Yeah. Like, yeah, like uh, hey. You know, things in life, that's what it is, right? It's mm, pretty much. It's putting out the cast. It's the cast. it's a big circle of life is what I look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the sense of like, I don't know, like things happen, things go, mm-hmm. things come back, you yeah. know. Win some, lose some. Yes, it's the way it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you brung your guitar. You going to play a song or two? Yeah, sure. For sure. Go get it. Hey, go get it. I'll sit here and look at the camera and look goofy for a little bit. (laughs) I can do weird stuff all day. (laughs) Oh, Lord. Hey, you can hang out on the wall when you get done with it. No, that was a joke. Like, leave it permanently. <laughs> I need a guitar from a wall. The uh, guitars are beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what I should play here. But let me, let me see if I can change. Are we gonna do? You better put the mic, the the camera on me, unless you want to be on camera. Nope. <laughs> I'm a mystery. You're a mystery. They want to see what you look like. You're on the uh, website. Well, actually. Yay. That doesn't Are you good with that? Is that in your way? It'll come all the way out there, too. 
That's awesome. That's a good setup. Thank you. Tried to think of everything. Do, do people usually like play something? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I have a, a a lot of people actually have been playing on the show. Good. And I'm I'm digging it. You know, that's why we got the uh I got the in ear set up and like if you come in and you add a a bass acoustic and another acoustic to accompany you with a cajon, we can actually set everything up over there and oh, yeah. you go full band. Full band. Full band. Have to come with the band next time. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, man. So this is um, this is Tyler Childer's song. Um, it's called uh, "Lady May." Well, I'm a stone so from the mill. And I'm a good walk to the river When my working day is over We'll go swim our cares away Put your toes down in the water And a smile across your face Tell me that you love me The lovely lady may Well I ain't the sharpest chisel that your hands have ever held But darling, I could love you well Till the rose called on And I've seen my share of trouble And I've held my weight in shame But I'm baptized in your name Lovely lady The wind can leave you shivering As it waltzes all the leaves It's been rushing through my temper Till your love brought on the spring And now the mountains are blushing And they don't know what to say Except a good long line of praises For my lovely Lady May well, I ain't the toughest hickory that your axe has ever felt And I'm a hickory just as well I'm a hickory all the same I came crashing through the forest as you cut my roots away And I fell a good long way for my lady man Hey, I like that one. Thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful song. Like he did. Um, have you guys ever see like the NPR Tiny Desk concert things? Yeah, Caitlin. Has. I love Tiny Desk. Yeah, it's the <laughs> like I find so much music there. It's crazy. Like, uh, yeah, so like Tyler Childers did one, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure he played that, and that's where like I got that song from. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's uh, it's beautiful. Yeah, he's doing, I mean, seems to be, I think he's doing a lot. He's doing pretty good right now. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't know. Would you like to, to hear something else? Yeah. Um, what should I do? I don't know. They're your songs. They are. They are. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe, yeah, I'll do. Because um, if I sat here and asked for one and, and you know. We need more production than just an acoustic guitar for that to come over well. Then I'm gonna look like I got egg on my face. <laughs> um, there's um, maybe I'll do. Hmm. What was your earlier? 
one of your earliest songs. Yeah, one of mine, eh? Yeah. Let me think. Maybe, I mean, I could do Beautiful Mistake. Usually it's on piano, but I could do it on the... I ain't got a piano. We need a piano. song julie the one you liked that's for julie i know right yeah. <laughs> look yeah. she's got a grin on her face now <laughs> yeah that's uh yeah cheers yeah um okay i gotta know because when you was doing that you was feeling that song more than you was the other one <laughs> there's a good story behind that song oh man <laughs> Um, Do you need a tissue? I'll get you some tissues. Uh, you know, I think. Well, I mean, okay. I mean, yeah, I would say I'm, I, I was probably thinking about someone. Um, yeah. You know, because I know when songs come on the radio, man, I'll, I'll just ball going down the road. Yeah. I mean, they turn me up because I've. <sighs> three divorces and a shit ton of ex-girlfriends that did me wrong. Right. You know, and yeah, well, you know, this song, um, it's about, uh, it's sort of about like, well, it's about, yeah, it's about someone. It's about someone yeah. that things, you know, 
Well, we like, ain't got to mention names, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah, but it was, you know, it's sort of like was something that like would sort of go, you know, a little bit on and off from time to time. Yeah. Um, and uh, it was there was this there was this one time in particular when um like when you know I was I was like we were yeah we were, we were just hanging like hanging out um and uh it was at like a party actually and um uh, anyways like i just sort of felt like like yeah like full inside mm-hmm. because of her yeah and um so yeah, that 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 was it was something. Yeah, it was sort of that's that was a special moment. And, yeah. Um, well, see, I've been to parties before with women, and for some odd reason, an ex boyfriend would be there or something, and then the next thing you know, I'm going home by myself. Damn. I got a lot of stories. You can make a lot of damn songs out of. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, yeah. When one day we'll do a, a session, we'll do a songwriting. Session. And they, and well, you know, and get one of those. No, I uh, I actually wrote one song with David Easterling and his wife, Laurel. Is that, her? Is that David's wife's name, Laurel? I can't remember. You know I'm bad with names. Yeah, I think Laura, Laura Easterling. Yeah, I wrote a song with them. Cool. And it was about one of your stories? Uh, no, it was about an experience I had, but I don't know. We'll see where it goes. Okay. I'm not singing what's, it. What's the name of the song? Uh, Via- Vacation Fiasco, I believe, is what we came up with. That's sick, man. Huh? Yeah, it's... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Good uppity song, kind of? like. Uh, uh, no, it's kind of... lyrical. Lyrically. But. Well, lyrically, it's, it's, it's challenging in the music industry because of the way the lyrics are in the chorus. Okay. All right. Is it is it, what, what what genre does it fall into? Uh, country. Country. But it's more of a uh, the influence on the song was more of a uh, John Prine, nice. you know, at, at how he was at good at telling stories. Yeah. And uh, shit, I don't forgot Sam, his damn Sam name. Stone. Margaritaville dude. Jimmy. Jimmy Buffett. It's got a Jimmy Buffett swing to it, so. All right, all right. That's dope, man. Well, you said, sorry, Vacation Fiasco, right? There. Vacation Fiasco. All I right. don't know if it'll ever. That, that's just, that's. I, like I mean, it, it's, it's just the rough first draft now, and it needs some work. But it's, it's, it's something I think that some people could really get a handle on, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's. How did you, how did you, how did you enjoy the process? It was interesting because it was basically what was in my head and I told the story and what lyrics I had wrote out already. And then David put some music to it and Laura was, you know, doing the lyrics, writing them out. And of course we, they had to fill in some lyrics where I had stopped and it, it was, it was interesting. Yeah, like, and in two hours we had it, you know. Yeah, so that means that means it's a good song. That's that that <laughs> that was a rough draft, you know, just a two, you know. But the uh, so you said so you said so L- Laura was writing and well, Laura was writing down the lyrics and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. We was, was on some on, kind was of on guitar. He was on the guitar. He was on the guitar. Okay. Yeah, and he was strumming it and. Well, that's in D, and and that's in you know, and yeah, she would write it all down there. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, so I, so yeah. he so he plays. If you, if you if you have it, I would love to hear it. I mean, you know, oh, I'll, 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 yeah. Before you leave, I'll play it for you. Okay, cool. Sick, man. It's on the computer over there. Awesome. I love, yeah, that's great. But it's yeah. always interesting to hear like people's processes. Yeah, I mean, we just we sat here like at this that. table and done it. Ah, sick. Yeah. I thought it was over the thing, but no, we actually sat here and, and, and done it here at the table. Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At the table, we sat here and wrote a song. That's it, man. That's it. I'll be a millionaire one day. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. 
<laughs> Never know. There's a, there's a good story of. Um, yeah, well, there's a Bradley at the end of my name, and and throughout the history of time, there is no good luck Bradley, but there's bad luck Bradley. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, yeah. It's just you're gonna, a, you're gonna be the first one then. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know. Who knows? There ain't no telling. All right, guys, y'all ready to wrap it up? Caitlin's messing with her hair. <laughs> All right. Nobody's answering me here. What do you want me to say? I don't know. Me and Ellis is gonna do some other stuff off camera. So Cool it, was, it, was, it was a pleasure, man. Uh, I really enjoyed talking. It was an honor having yeah. you on, man. I mean, hell, I enjoy having our uh, neighbors from Canada come hang out every now and then. It's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, man. Well, you know, maybe, yeah. If ever you, yeah. If ever you're up in Canada, let me know. Yeah, well, you know, when you come back to town, let me know. Will do. Hopefully you'll have some more songs and. Yeah, well, there's some stuff in the works. There's some stuff in the works. Well, that's I what I hear. So I'm I'm very happy about that. Yeah. Cause you got the voice. Ah, you make them women kind of... swoon, man. <laughs> oh, man. There are certain octave of voices that that just you know they. Yeah. It it started with uh, that wonderful journey dude a long time ago. The like uh, Steve Perry. Steve Perry. Yeah. 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 yeah man. There's a. That's like a, that's that's the second time today I think that. Steve Perry's been mentioned to me. Not yeah. necessarily about me, but just like we talked about. And then yeah. There's a cool, uh, have you guys seen like the We Are the World documentary? No. On Netflix? Mm. Uh, he's in it at some point and like, they're like trying to like work out harmonies and stuff like that. And like Steve Perry's like helping out with the harmonies and that kind of thing. Yeah. He was, yeah, just a great singer. Oh, it was phenomenal. Yeah. Every girl in my high school loved him. <laughs> Every girl. Including Julie. See? Who wouldn't? Yeah, See? It's true. Well, I mean, he had the look. He had the voice. It was crazy. Yeah. Alice, appreciate you being on, man. Thank you, Dave. And we'll have you back again. Yes, sir. If not, we got StreamYard. I'll call you in Canada. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Shoals, where they can find you? uh yeah uh so i got instagram uh instagram is i mean if you type in ellis shoal should come up but my my actual instagram name i made it when i was like 14 years old so it's like flub in the tub <laughs> <laughs> i'm glad you guys like that flub in the tub okay yeah yeah uh, so yeah, that's, that's y'all that's, type in Ella Schultz. Yeah. It should come up. It should come up. Yeah, but that's that's. I mean, I I, don't, I I like the name. I got the picture on the picture on it. It's like it's like this little dog next to like a seal. So like you know, I'm just glad it's not you sitting in a tub. I mean, <laughs> if it was, you'd have more people on there. I'm telling you. Uh, okay. Well, yeah. No. When you go home, get some rubber duckies and some you know bubble bath and. And, and do it, yeah. And flubbing it up. Flubbing it up. That's flubbing it up. Yeah. That's why it is. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah cool. Ellis, yeah, appreciate yeah. you, man. Appreciate and you. the website's coming up, and coming up. all your other socials will be coming up yeah, soon. And there's some, you know, there's some, you know, music out on Apple Music and Spotify, that kind of stuff. Awesome. I love it. So, y'all check out Ellis' show. And. We're going to get out of here. Appreciate everybody watching today. Remember, like, share, follow, subscribe. Subscribe. On YouTube, it's a little red thing. It's click. That's it. Yeah. Uh, it helps everybody out. It helps musicians. It helps podcasts. It helps anybody that's doing any internet stuff. I sound hoarse for some reason. Why am I sounding so hoarse? <clears throat> I don't know. Anyway. All right, y'all. Take care, and we'll catch you later. Love you. Mean it. Bye. Yay. Yeah. <laughs>